to um, start by raising the issue about impact, and impact um, is something which is part of the way of life of higher education um, at the moment, and for very good reasons, and it is also a thing of government. Um, and so we are particularly interested, as the UK Data Service, in understanding how data which we hold on behalf of others is used to, cr to create impact. Because we understand how we, we sort of understand how we as an organization have impact both with other data services uh, in the curation and the dissemination and the provision of access to data. Um, but what we don't tend to know about or know about quite so well is how the data that we hold on behalf of others um, is used in some measurable, in used for impact in some measurable way. So I'm going to give the uh, since um, the UK Data Service is funded by the Economic and Social Research Council, um, I'm going to use the standard Research Council's definition of impact. Try keeping this in your mind as we go through um, this afternoon. They define it as the demonstrable contribution that excellent research makes to, soci to society and the economy. So this isn't about academics talking to each other. This isn't about government local or, or national governments speaking to each other. Um, it is about the contribution that research generally makes upon society and the economy. So these are multiple layered, um, impact is multiply layered. The ESRC defines impact in three ways. It talks about instrumental impact, which is about influencing policy or, the, or practice or service provision. It's actually getting stuff done. Conceptual impact, which is contributing to the understanding of policy and issues around policy. But also impact is about capacity building and skills development. Um, and this is something which tends to slip off the edge of the, the impact discussion. How do we help other people? How do we collectively help other people learn how to do things better? And large investments, which are funded by the Economic and Social Research Council, um, have had the opportunity in the past um, to bid for extra funding um, to invest in impact officers. Um, and we, we, as the UK Data Service, has one, and that's Victoria Moody, who's sitting over here, um, and she's the linchpin behind this event. And what one of the things I hope to get out of this, and she hopes to get out of this, is more good examples of how data is used to provide this impact. It's not just the impact from the UK data service holding data on behalf of government departments. So I suspect I need to tell some of you about what the UK data service does, and I'll do that very briefly. The nearest obvious analogy to the UK data service that everyone will clearly understand is a library. Um, but there are, there are loads of difference, a data library, but there are loads of differences. We provide a, an end-to-end -end service which benefits all of the key players in the data life cycle. And sometimes um, the benefits that we provide to those, um, those key players is a little difficult to articulate. But essentially, most of the government departments in the UK um, and in Scotland provide to the UK Data Service survey or census or some data which we curate and provide access to for research. And I really mean for research in its broadest sense. I'm not just talking about research within higher education. Most of the data that we hold um, is data which can be used by anybody and for any purpose, but it's not open with a capital O, not always open with a capital O. So we acquire data from a wide range of data creators, um, national government, local government, researchers that are funded by the ESRC and international government organisations, <coughs> but we also deal with the third sector and commercial organisations as well. 
and we benefit the data owners by providing access to those data on their behalf. So there's a legal relationship between the UK data service and the, and the data controller, and there is also a legal relationship, sometimes very minor legal relationship, between us and you, the potential user, or the potential user, the potential researcher. All data owners need to do is to make sure that data comes to us and to finalize the legal side. When we receive data, we will carry out all, a manner, all manner of um, checks in terms of both quality control um, and in terms of a, a risk assessment in terms of disclosure control. So no postcodes in, in survey data, no pregnant men, um, all the usual problems with data, we will check um, those before we make them available and have a, and have a dialogue with the data owner um, in order to make sure that what we're giving out is, is the right thing. And there's no cost to the data owner in this. We provide this service for nothing. The ESRC pay for this because they believe that the sharing of data is important um, and that the investment that is made by government and the ESRC and others in the production of data is something which is greater than the cost of making it available. So it's an additional part of the cost, the original investment, is for our service to make these data available. In the workflow, we then ingest data into our preservation systems, which also provide, which is also modeling um, to provide access to these data. Um, and we ensure that anything that we, cr anything which is passed to us has the potential to be maintained forever. So we're a digital preservation activity as well as a social science data access and distributor. And for some data, we provide online interfaces. For some data, researchers have to come and use our systems um, and our hardware because they are so disclosive or there is so much risk of disclosure. But in general, most of our data is available through a straightforward registration system. And we tailor access mechanisms really to suit the needs of researchers rather than based on the type of data that, is, that we're dealing with. There's more than 7,000 data collections that we hold and and what we're doing is to try, part of, our, part of our scope is to make sure that these data are properly described so that they can be found and used um, with very little additional effort on behalf of the researcher. Um, and we have a question bank, for example, and it provides access to the full text of over 700,000 questions asked in various different surveys um, over about the last 45 years. All of our data collections are, are version DOI'd, um, and so there's easy to use citations. We believe very strongly in the reproducibility of research. Um, and, these, and, and in total, we have something more than 7,000 um, data collections um, in one place. So all accessible through the, same, um, through the same access point. The UK Data Service is also one of the, the UK pioneers of providing secure or controlled access to data, um, access to data which has a known risk of disclosure and data which certainly can't be made open um, within secure environments. We run industry standard um, software in order to provide remote access to researchers, not just, again, not just in higher education, um, to personal and sensitive um, data. And researchers have to go through uh, a standard process of being approved, they have to be trained, the projects that they undertake have to be vetted, um, and we've, we've um,
I've just forgotten the word, we've been pioneering a, um, a, a, a framework called the five safes um, as five areas where we can um, try and guarantee, at least to the best of our ability, um, that the data controller is not in any way breaking laws in making uh, sensitive personal information um, available. There's a lot more in terms of what we do as an organization, um, and we are a service. We're providing a service to both data controllers and to data users. Um, we're, highly, we're, we're strongly influenced by what users um, want us to do, um, but we are funded on a, on a five-yearly basis in order, and we have to plan in five-year cycles. Um, but part of our remit is to talk about the benefits of data sharing um, and the impact of data use. There are many other activities that, that we are involved in within the data space. Um, they vary from dealing in high-level um, inter, international um, groups looking at the ethics and the legalities around the reuse of um, big data. Um, we also have um, members of staff who are looking at building, um, an, I'm going to say, an open data platform, a platform which um, holds and provides access to a much wider range of materials, but using it, on, using it um, through pathways that we're legally able to provide. Um, and part of the purpose of this event is not just for us to say um, that there are huge and demonstrable benefits associated with having um, a robust and end-to-end -end data service infrastructure. Um, we're going to hear about how others use data um, to create impact and to create positive and successful um, interventions in society and the economy, um, but doing it in a way in which individuals' rights are protected and individuals' um, not only are the rights protected, um, but personal information is respected um, and Personal information is not just about people, it is about organizations and companies as well. But I think that the primary value um, of the data service infrastructure is the influence that we can have across the whole of the life cycle um, of data, the whole of the life cycle of data, from its creation to its original primary use to its secondary use. And I think we need all to step up to make sure that the ideas around reuse in data should be put as firmly as possible into the planning part of the capture of these data in the first place. Running a survey without thinking about how it may be made available at the end is now something that nobody should be tolerating. The, the management of data uh, creation within higher education is now pretty much based upon data management planning so that it's clear that these data can be reused um, after, they, after the primary purpose for their creation has been spent. So impact to me is really, is truly an economic impact and how can we do better research using the data that we've got but using the data that's been created for another purpose.